The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. When was the last time you had really good Texas-style barbecue? Eric's Family Barbecue, the way it's supposed to taste. Always delicious, never rushed, and prepared to perfection. Eric's Family Barbecue uses only 100% fresh meat, slowly smoked over mesquite wood until it's juicy and delicious. We all know their brisket is the best, but have you tried their pulled pork, pork ribs, or rib tips? Amazing, and their sides are all house-made. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be so Sorry, go to ericsfamilybbq.com for more information. Now we have to stall. <laughs> Here he comes. Toledo's trying to work the printer, and it's just not happening. It's anyway, hand printing. He built it. Gives us a chance to introduce Mo. Uh, the, oh, wait. That's the wrong one. There you are. God. The host of your Guadalupe Squares now. Uh, Mo from uh, KDKB. Ah, uh, here's Rich. From the Mo Show, the favorite morning show that isn't anymore. That's all on middays. It works out great. Uh, the the okay. center Brady is no longer correct. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. Yeah, we got it. You're good. You know yeah. what it is. That's the host you know. Mo does bingo on weekends. This is it, though. Tonight's the last one, right? Or tomorrow. <laughs> no, last week. Oh, was, it was? It's over? L- last week, it, w- it was the last one on oh, Friday. Man. But there's another one coming up November 13th. Oh, Jesus. I hear Brady's coming out for that oh, yeah. one, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, He's going to call late. the numbers. 11.30 a.m. He's going to call you... out 069. All oh. right. Oh. Around the world. 69. <laughs> never done it, never will. Four corners. <laughs> a face in a woman's sewer. Uh, the prize today for your Guadalupe Squares is fantastic. It is our uh, front row seats to go see our uh, happy ending show with Colin Ali Sadiq and John Lovitz on December 3rd at Celebrity Theater. That is going to be great. And it's brought to you by our friends at FanDuel, uh, dropping off front row tickets for somebody who wins the Squares today. So let's get right to it. Here she is, your host of the Squares, Miss Mo Bergeron. Mo, thank you, Chancellor. In the top left corner, we've got Bruce Springsteen and Obama. It's uh, it's very impressive to have a uh, Mexican uh, lesbian host this show, and that is uh, growth, as I like to say. Uh, and more importantly, my uh, podcast partner has a huge announcement. Uh, he's very excited. The holidays are here, and uh, Bruce, uh, I'm going to tell you, take it away, Mister Springsteen, and why you're so excited. <laughs> All right, everybody. Christmas is right around the corner. Happy holidays, Bob. And I'm just like you. You better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. Telling you why. Selling my catalog for 400 mil. Selling the catalog for 400 mil. Selling the catalog for 400 mil. Because I'm just like you. You blue collar. Be dazzled with stones from Africa. Slaves pulled diamonds out and I bought them cause I can't afford them. Just like you shut up background singers, big man. Did you hear about it, Barack? Christmas is right around. Come get more royalties for this garbage song I wrote a long time ago. It's exciting because he's going to be a, a half a billionaire. And he's so much like the blue collar people that love buying his stuff. And I think that's just great, Bruce. It's one of my favorite things. I can't wait, just like all those blue-collar pipe players and construction workers that I sing to, when we wake up to our 70-foot Douglas fir in our main room, see all the Louis Vuitton under the tree, because I'm just like you. He's got you all fooled, you idiots. In the top middle corner, or top middle square, we have NBA Hall of Famer Bill Walton. Down to the big man. The lesbian has no idea who I am. Think of me as a bleached version of Brittany Griner from the 70s. (laughs) Unbelievable (laughs) basketball superstar and pilot of the spaceship Walton, which travels around like a pterodactyl above Balboa Park at any time. It's time for me to land the spaceship here. Ooh, where have I landed? In a place Mo calls Lick a Lot of Puss, Arizona. <laughs> Mesa. Mo's bedroom. <laughs> Throw it down to Mo's bedroom as the big man shows his presence and his glowing shock of red hair wanders into a room to see the interracial lovemaking that Mo does, <laughs> taking it to the hole like only a Walton can. <laughs> 
Does that make me a Hall of Famer? I think I'm still a Hall of Famer and you. <laughs> Someone just trying to make her way in this world. But as she makes her way, she doesn't understand that the long bike ride known as life takes you through many parks. And one of them is the Hall of Fame. The other for you would be the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Bill Walton will be here all week. <laughs> in the top right corner, we have boxing trainer Freddie Roach. That's right. We have a great big fight this week. <laughs> yeah, I'm between. excited, Freddie. Well, it should be brilliant. It's one of the finer fights you're going to see. The great Mexican fighter, Canelo Alvarez, taking on Caleb, Caleb Plant. Now, Caleb Plant is not the same Caleb as the one from the Shriners. That would be a mismatch, I'd say. <laughs> That'd be a bone Definitely, crushing. But I can say that I think maybe Caleb Plant's the guy you went to bet on this weekend. Is this fight's going to be unbelievable. You have no idea who I am, do you? <laughs> you sound good. I feel great. Somebody has to make my cereal for me, though. <laughs> In the middle left square. The left middle square. Wow. I know. I'm all over the place. That's Charles right. Barkley. That's all right. This, this, it's crazy that they even here. Robert Sarver has ruined everything for everybody as a Phoenix Suns. How could you work, Brady? Yeah. How could you ever work in such a toxic environment as what is the Phoenix Suns environment? I remember when I was with the Suns, we used to be able to have sex with all the girl employees, and they kept their mouths shut. And now everybody's talking about words and trouble. It's ridiculous. It's just Terrible, terrible. That's all it is out there. They try to get people. I was with the Suns once, and I remember one of the executives was giving me a blowjob, and I said, I love working in this toxic environment. <laughs> you going to buy the team? I, I, I'm going to think about buying the team and bringing back to make the Suns great again. <laughs> we used to be able to blow people, have sex with the employees, and nobody said it. Man, I, was, I, was, I used to drive around with Suns employees. In fact, I played with a guy who used to blow me, Kevin Johnson. That guy, <laughs> we had a toxic work environment. Whenever I hey, Kevin, I want a blow job. And he would say no. I'm like, this is a toxic work environment. Who could ever work? But Kevin Johnson isn't performing oral sex on you. It's unbelievable. Leave Robert Sava alone. Make the Suns great again. Let me have the team. I'll go down there. We'll have all these athletes and beautiful women Put on the top of the Put back in your team. Big O, that's right. We'll bring back the big O. <laughs> He's still alive? <laughs> Ain't no way that heart's still pumping. <laughs> anyway, poor sons. In the middle square, getting ready for Pride this weekend. Ooh. Gay Brady! Fabulous! All right! Gay Pride weekend, we're gonna blow some twinks. Twink, twink, twink in my mouth. What do you do on Gay Pride weekend, Mo? I hang out. Blow guys! The answer is blow <laughs> fellas. I, I can't mean, wait. I wouldn't. Put but... it in my butt. It's Gay Pride Weekend for Brady. So what are you, Brady? Are you a twink? Are you a bear? What are you? Uh, I'm a bear and a twink. I'm a twink bear. All I know is I'm going to be crushing turds. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing. I brought a special guest. Who? It's my best friend from TV, Gay Leno. <laughs> Have you heard of Gay Leno? That's right. Uh, Brady and I are going to be in a, a float together for as long as we can last, and that's what we're going to do. Are these your twink clothes, Brady? I'm wearing all denim with sequins, and uh, you're just in some sort of a thong and uh, a tank top that I think is for a four-year-old. Actually, no, this is an adult-sized tank top. I just look terrible in it. <laughs> anyway, Gay Leno can't wait. Uh, I would like to uh, announce that I am uh, running for mayor of Seed Town. Gay Leno would like to be the mayor of Seed Town. I don't know what the lesbians do. They confuse me is what they do. But I just like to be, and I'll be on the float. We'll be throwing out some boas and some necklaces and some, uh, you know, bags of mayonnaise. Condoms. And course. some rubbers. Got to throw out the rubbers. Got to keep it safe. You know, yeah, and Brady absolutely. and I are, are locked up in twink love. We always keep it safe. Gay Leno and Brady always have the safest of sex. And that's, that's, that's just what we do. I like having sex with Gay Leno. <laughs> you can, hey, Gay Leno, push my stool in. Oh, anything for a lady. <laughs> we just had some fun with the language and just really enjoy. Offload is actually a 66, uh, we got a, a Ford Falcon, and we're going to be driving around in that thing. And then, uh, and then we'll be in the back seat wrecking it. It's going to be great. I think I love gay pride. I've got a lot of pride in, inside me this weekend, and his name's Brady. <laughs> In the middle right square, we got Cardinals broadcaster Ron oh, Wolf. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Last week, 
Thursday at the stadium. Little Kyler Murray broke his tiny little bird bone ankle, and he's still going to play for you because that's how Kyler Murray rolls. He's a blood he's farmer. He's a blood farmer. You see blood. He gets stronger. But now we all have to be worried that we touched Aaron Rodgers because he's got the COVID. Did you get close to him? I was very close to him, and I didn't like it, David. You hugged him? Oh, I, I hugged him, and I kissed him, and I tried to give him all sorts of advice. I love him, David. But then I told him, and his eyes started to bug out. I think you got cold. And he said, I'm immunized. And I didn't know what that meant. So when I looked it up, I felt safe. Turns out he's a witch doctor. And he went to a shaman for the COVID and it didn't work, David. So we've all got it. Cardinals this weekend. Blood farming away. Are you going, Mo? I'm not going. Oh, I'll be there. <laughs> toot, 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 toot. Hand it to Marcel ship. It's not there. <laughs> Give it to him anyway. <laughs> In the bottom left square, we've got Brady Secret Square. Give us a hint. Hey, guys. I was Kimberly Drummond on um, different strokes oh. until I overdosed on painkillers. Wow. <laughs> <Man>. Dark. <laughs> not quite oh. as good as Whitney, but no, still good. It's up there. Yeah. <laughs> Strong. Strong. Whitney was a reenactment of the passing. This was, don't do it again. <laughs> Gosh. It's the bottom middle square. We have Tommy Lee Jones and John Travolta. That's right. It's Jones Travolta cookie train. We're going to have ourselves, like, we're going to sell cookies. Like, you know, uh, I'm going to do your No Country for Old Men cookies, and I'm going to do my Staying Alive cookies. Yeah. It's going to be great. Is, is there weed in these cookies? No, there's not weed in it. Mine has oregano in it. <laughs> mine, mine is just filled with centrum silver. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's like specific to a fan, you know, like some of Tommy Lee's cookies are for the older people. You know, who are confused by old age and things like that. So there's like, what's in your cookies? Like, right, well, there's brown sugar and uh, uh, horse droppings, some hay. No, it sounds terrible, but mine are good because mine are man milk cookies. Because <laughs> <laughs> you bite in the center and then like a creamy goo hits dude you in the juice? back of the throat. It's like dude juice. Yeah, you just like, loads of dude juice shoots out of the Travolta cookies are fantastic. You should bring them out to Pride. Be perfect. Yeah, I should. Great hit. One of mine's called Inner Thigh and it tastes just like my Inner Thigh. I can vouch for that. It tastes exactly like the man's inner thigh. <laughs> In the- I've licked his inner thigh. What? Oh. 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 And it was good. It's a lot of hair. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Bottom right square. We have our Lord and Savior, Tripper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pladio, right around the corner. You're excited, Tripper, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I've already picked my winner. Really? Yeah. Peter, Paul, and Mary. I'm leaving <laughs> on a jet plane. Won't be in town for your stupid Playdio game. Yeah. I'm very excited about Playdio because this year I'll be somewhere else. Where are you going to be? Anywhere but here. <laughs> By the way, my name is Trip Reeb. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice I've been to wanting meet you to too. meet you yeah. for a really well, long time. I've been listening to your show. Mo's been here for years. Has she? Where? At your favorite station. KUPD. <laughs> Oldies 97 point whatever. <laughs> KSL. Whoosh, whoosh, not Mo. <laughs> <laughs> or that thing in the corner oh, the with thing, Bob Kemp on it. The thing in the corner. The deuce. We have another one? Mm-hmm. Huh. I look at the ratings and I don't ever. Hmm. Must <laughs> be exist. an anomaly. <laughs> Brady, you look good. Thanks, Trip. Considering the strokes this week. <laughs> tias. They're tiny tias. Odd to see you upright. All right. We've got Heather and Mark on the line. Heather. Uh, I assume Heather is a girl. Heather, are you there? Heather. Yes, I'm here. There she is. Mark, are you there? I'm here. All right, Heather, go ahead. Pick a square. You're first. I will take Gay Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Want some fudge? I do. Yuck. <laughs> That's not fudge. <laughs> I just had it on my uh, hot dog for you. It's a fudge hot dog. You want a bite? Oh. I mean, I can't say no to that. Those are my two favorite things. All right, let me just work this fudge hot dog right in the amount. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nom, 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 Your fudge tastes, tastes like... Ah, that's, that's a trick song. Oh, it's a big gay night. Anyway, we're going to be on a float this weekend, big gay pride weekend. You're going to have fun out there, Mo? I am. You I'm excited announces? to see you guys. I feel like I'm like the chairman of the, uh, what do they call that guy? The, the, the ringleader of the Grand whole Marshall. The Grand, Grand Marshal. I'm the Grand Marshal of the parade. And I get out there and Gay Leno will be out there. Hello, twinks. Who wants a piece of Gay Leno? Just unzip my denim and go to town. 
I don't think anybody wants a piece of Gaylord. Come on, everybody wants a piece. Of- Why wouldn't you want to give a lot of money? Mavis will. Uh, I mean, except for Brady. But that's I'll different. eat it. I'll eat anything. <laughs> He's great. I love Gaylord. All right, go ahead. <laughs> In the U.S., someone has a stroke every 10 seconds. True. True <laughs> that someone is me. That someone is me. I have a stroke every 10 seconds medically. <laughs> Heather, do you agree or disagree? I agree. That is incorrect. Don't get the square. And real quick before we go, I'd like to do a gay pride joke if you don't mind. You know, it's gay pride weekend. Isn't that? Go ahead. Uh, you know the difference between a rooster and gay Brady? A rooster and gay Brady. The difference between. I, what is it? The feathers? A rooster is a cockadoodle do, and gay Brady any cock will do. All right, there we go, everybody. <laughs> rooster and gay Brady. Brady's writing these horribly <laughs> gay jokes. <laughs> Terrible. I am offended. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark, you got to pick one. He is gay. I know he's very proud. When he writes for me, it's very proud. He's very proud of that one. <laughs> Annie Cockle, do we put that pride. page sixty four on the joke books by Ben Brooks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark, pick a square. Let's go with the uh, secret square, please. Oh, he thinks he knows it. Don't take drugs, <laughs> <laughs> Mister Drummond. Give him more of a clue. Yeah. You think you know? That's yeah, uh, Dana. Dana Plato. Dana Plato is correct. How in the world? Are we doing another sweep? We might have another small. Might be queen of sweeps. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Heather, Freddie Roach for the sweep. Yeah. That's a good choice. Hey, Not no, for you, great but, choice. There's no possible way he knows who the square is. <laughs> Heather, who do you have in the fight between Alvarez and, and Plant? He's fighting a plant? Yeah. Robert Plant. <laughs> Robert Plant. Some people say I'm becoming one. <laughs> <laughs> I would go with Canelo Alvarez, but if I'm a bad man, I would find the fifth round knockout and put some money on Caleb Plant. It's like I'm speaking another language. Yes. <laughs> no girls know what I'm talking about. Thanks for playing along, Heather. <laughs> All right, are you ready for Brady, me? I think Heather might have stolen one of your strokes. <laughs> TIA. She's a Tia 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 Tia. I'm just going to rename her Tia. <laughs> All right, go ahead, lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> the official name of the sport of boxing is box toe. True or false? The official name of boxing is boxing. This is the stupidest question I've ever heard in my life. Why would the official name not be the name? My official name is Freddie Roach. Is it? But it's not like Bartholomew. This is what? ridiculous. The official name of boxing is boxing. So false. False. Heather, do you agree or disagree? I'm going to agree. X fun. gets the Got square yeah. nice. for the block. All right, Mark, pick a square. Uh, let's go with uh, Obama and Springsteen, please. It's a great choice. And we're going to have to do this one for the win because otherwise Larry McFeely's show runs into Fitz's show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because Bruce has to get out of town. Bruce has to go. He's got a, one of his private jets. He has to go <laughs> service with his other private jet. One of them... I have to get the engine jump. We got to do a jumper cable on what two. What kind of, of normal guys do you I'm have? I'm a normal with? fella, just like you, Toledo. I wake up in my golden bed, step out of bed, just like you, into my golden slippers. Two, three, four. <laughs> he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He's a great accountant you can afford. <laughs> Only trusted you. Come on, man. Two. Four, I got 400 million Christmas dollars this year And you are just like me Except for Brady's queer Santa Claus is coming to town To drop off bags of money in my house Santa Claus is coming to town My mansion, Santa Claus Bought my royalty rights for 400 million dollars <laughs> You should sell yours this year Merry Christmas People just like me in the blue collar world of Jersey Get off my lawn. I hope that's on your greatest hits album. It's just such a great song. I could sing along with it if it had any sort of melody at all. (laughs) All right. All right. The average height of regular men in the U.S. is 5'9". True or false? It's starting again. (laughs) Two, three, four. Every time it plays, I get another million dollars. Just like you. (laughs) This makes my jacket want to come off. I'll take that jacket. I love denim jackets. It's nice. I just wanted to say I'm proud of you for Gay Pride tomorrow. And I want to remind all the gays out there that are going to be in the floats that tonight's the night at 5 o'clock. 
Drink your Metamucil. <laughs> Clear the tanks. <laughs> Make sure your partner doesn't have what's called poop wiener. <laughs> poop wiener never happens to me. I sh- gold now. It's like you. Shut up, background singers. <laughs> Middle of my gay pride thing for Christmas. Get a fire then. Even though you're going to hell, have fun at gay pride tomorrow. Santa doesn't bring you much because you're poop wieners. That's okay, though. I have $400 million. It doesn't have to rhyme. <laughs> Bird wants to be a roadie for you. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your chili dogs and candy canes, gays. <laughs> That's disgusting. Anyway, drink your Metamucil. So make sure you're clear. Give that enema a shot. Make that poop shoot clean as a whistle. Happy gay pride. <laughs> What's your question? <laughs> the average height of a regular man in the U.S. is 5'9". True or false? Um, I'll just defer to the guy who's average. You're every man. I am every man. I'm 5 <laughs> feet 9 inches tall and $400 million worth of power. <laughs> just like everybody who loves your music. You're such an every man, Bruce. I'll say that the average height is 5'9". So True. Thanks to Brady, who's 5'4", and screwing up the curve. So true. Mark, do you agree or disagree? I agree. Oh, gets the square. Oh, oh, the he's the champion. It. Oh, the gets it. Just because of time constraints. Bruce is 5'10", for the record. You're an inch no taller No way. Than just you. Just like every man, regular fellow, Bruce Springsteen, 5 feet 9 inches, a pure normal. <laughs> you don't wear rhinestone sequin boots unless you're a normal fella. <laughs> Isn't that right, guy who does my podcast with me, 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama? Because everybody does a podcast with the president eventually. <laughs> That's right. You're just you're just an average Democratic joke. Tax the rich! Zip me. <laughs> I'll be a Republican. Partner. Once that check clears, I'm going to be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> Promise you that. We're going to capital gains the F out of you, Bruce. <laughs> going to get $100 million out of that. All right. Nice job, Mo. Bingo. November 13th. So if Thanks, your John. grandma lives for the next two weeks, she's got some, <laughs> something to do. If she's a night owl, come on down. Yeah, she's not. Oh, okay. But I'm excited to see you at Pride this weekend. I'm not going. Oh, come on. Brady's going to be Water's there. Water's too cold. Water's too, <laughs> Water's too cold. <laughs> don't like getting in there. We're celebrating you. I celebrate myself all day long. <laughs> I don't need a special day for that. That's every day. Uh, we're done. It's 10, 11 already. Mm-hmm. Uh, McFeely's coming up next. You got anything going on we should talk about? Nothing. Anybody going anywhere? You got Just the living. Cardinals game? You going? Yeah. Where? I'll be out at uh, Twin Peaks at Tempe Marketplace from 2 to 4 on Sunday to watch the Cardinals. Okay. So. There you go. Watch that. Which one is it? Uh, Tempe Marketplace. Tempe Marketplace. Okay. And that's Just it. notice Brady's in his high school t-shirt. Yeah, he's in his upper Arlington Golden Bears. Nothing sadder <laughs> than a man wearing his high school t-shirt uh, hundreds and hundreds of miles from that I could throw the football school. over that mountain. That's right. That's great. Thanks, Uncle Brady. Put your coat back on. That is embarrassing. Uh, is that your high school or is that the junior high? That's the town I grew up with. It's the high school. Yeah. UA Golden yeah. Bears. Is that where you went, though? Yeah. Oh. If I came here in a Dobson Mustangs shirt, shoot me. That's right. It's no, it's no Upper Arlington. That's right. It's not. And I also graduated like 30 years ago, so it's time to let it go. I'll just come here with a, uh, a picture of my first girlfriend. Oh. Brett, do you have a Gilbert High shirt? No. No, because no reason to have pride. I got this when I Good bought Will the has uh, chocolate candy bars. <laughs> oh, you got the chocolate bars and then the free yeah, t-shirt. And t-shirt. Man, I can't give them away. Uh, we're done. Have a great day. Uh, weekend, actually. Mo, have fun at your thing. Thanks. Brady, you have fun. Uh, and Gay Leno and all the rest of you. Uh, we're done. We will see you Monday right here in the Morning Sickness. So long. Pathetic. 98. That's it. That's bonkers! You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.